War Diary, day 634 of Russia's war against Ukraine. Peter Hitchens has written in today's mail on Sunday that liberty for tyranny in the courts in Britain last week. This is a dark fairy story and I'll tell you why. The case concerns Graydon Phillips. He's appealing against sanctions imposed on him by the British government. Peter Hitchens says this is because Phillips' free speech has been stopped. No, what happened was that Phillips did an interview with Aidan Aslin when Aidan Aslin, he was a British chap who was fighting with the Ukrainian Marines and his um, battalion was captured uh, by the Russians and he was tortured and stabbed. And the man who stabbed him was sitting in the back of the room when Graham Phillips did an interview with Aidan Aslin. So this interview was against the rules of war. This interview was an act of psychological torture by Graham Phillips. Graham Phillips is a war criminal. And the reason why Britain has opposed sanctions against Graham Phillips is, number one, is he can't be brought to justice for the moment because he's in uh, Russian-occupied Ukraine, but number two is that he monetized his YouTube channel and was therefore profiting from the torture against Aidan Aslin. Is that right? No. Should this man be sanctioned? Yes. Has this got anything to do with free speech? No. Is Peter Hitchens a torturous friend? Yes. Read my Patreon account. It's all free. Um, it's an important story, so it's all free. If you can bung me a quid or, or two to become a patron, that'd be lovely. But never mind. The point is this. Peter Hitchens, stop making things up. There's a war on here. Look at the statue behind me. That's covered up because of fear of Russian missiles. Oh, and Vladimir Putin, do fuck off.